Ashley Banfield is part of the CW's first true crime show ever. It starts tomorrow night. Crime Nation goes deep on some of the biggest crime stories of the past few decades, including the Delphi murders. Ashley joins us now. Congratulations. Good luck with all things to come. Uh, th I believe this is a no-miss, though. Uh, what do you think about the series? And, of course, I want to talk to you about your take on the Delphi murders. But what do you think about this opportunity? Look, I think uh, you and I both know that Americans have sort of really started digging deep on true crime. Um, I think when we started in the business, there was a passing interest, for sure. But news programs now, more and more, are looking very carefully at some of these crimes, like Idaho, like Lori Vallow, like the Delphi murders. And sometimes, Chris, we have discovered that the Internet <laughs> has hundreds of thousands of sleuths that can do some damage but can also help with investigations because it's just that many more eyeballs going over that much more evidence. What do you want for the series? Well, what I'm hoping for is that we can actually break some ground, and we've actually been able to do that. Uh, Crime Nation is getting exclusive interviews. We're breaking ground that hasn't been broken before. Maybe investigators will take a second look at some of the things that we've found. In fact, in Delphi, there is um, a woman who used to date the, the landowner where those two girls, um, Libby and Abby, were found. And he was a mm -hmm. suspect, or he was a mm, person of interest. We should really say he was never a suspect. He was a person of interest. And he never got past that state of being a person of interest. He ended up dying. But his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, says that the, the police might have made a mistake. She actually thinks that that her ex-boyfriend was the killer. So there are some things that she's saying that she's never said before. She's never told anybody th these things before. And there are others who believe that perhaps Richard Allen, who's been sitting in jail waiting trial this fall, might not be the right person. We do have a clip. I think your producers have lined up a quick, short yep. uh, piece of what's going to air tomorrow. Almost immediately, the wild speculation just went nuclear, um, from drug cartels to cult activity to sexting in an unwanted pregnancy. Were they strangled? Were they shot? I mean, people just couldn't fathom how two young girls out for a winter walk could have died in this horrible way. Speculation really ran rampant, but no one really knew. Hey, Chris. Just, I don't mean to make you feel old here because I'm in the same boat, but when we <laughs> covered this story originally, these girls were 13 and 14. I looked it up. Libby would be 21 now, and Abby mm -hmm. would be 20. And so seven years later, we still don't have resolution on this case. I think that's what I want for this series. I want to be able to look really deeply with a fine tooth comb uh, to be able to see what do we miss or do we have it right? Hey, what do you say when uh, people are trying to figure out how to feel about the girlfriend now um, and how you explain why somebody didn't say things before or they add to it now? Um, what, what has been your experience over uh, different cases with how that can be explained? Yeah, it's not the first time. In fact, I see it all the time. When we go back to crimes uh, that were really popping in the headlines and, um, you know, th there are reporters everywhere, there's a, there's a frantic nature to them. But with the advent of time, memories actually release things and witnesses recall things that they didn't recall before. I think officers will tell you that, too, when they look into cold cases and they start re-piecing things together. So I don't think it's any different that when you look at these with a wider aperture and do a deeper dive and talk to more people, suddenly you'll start to see things you didn't see before that match other things that may have been known before. And so I don't fault anybody for that. Sometimes I fault police maybe not for digging too deep, but let's not forget, these are small communities for the most part. Many of them don't have, like, FBI crime labs on location. And sometimes mm. there's a bit of a tete-a-tete when it comes to how the FBI gets involved. But all fair points. Uh, and look, also adds to the interest. Uh, there's intrigue. Uh, and there's fear of commonality. You know, these kids could be your kids. This community could be your community. And certainly the Delphi murders fall squarely in that. Well, good luck with this. I wish all good things uh, for you, for the team, and for the CW. Um, Crime Nation premieres tomorrow night. Another feather in the cap of the next star nation. Thank you very much, Ashley. Good luck with it. I'll be talking to you Thanks, again soon. Chris. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com 
NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.